is Jen here. Um, sorry I've been absentee a bit. I'm going through some stuff and it's time I pay special attention to my own spiritual walk here and ensure that I'm examining my heart and mind daily because this is a tough walk. And again, it might not be physical. It's a lot a lot of mental challenges and a lot of mental and spiritual fortitude is needed. First, we got to post our Fair Use Act disclaimer for the Fair Use of 1976, Section 107. We'll let that sit there for just a second. This video is a warning. Um, I was reminded of this recently. And ironically enough, the way they're categorizing this, um, I was a little surprised that they come right out and said what they did. But I'm going to show it to you guys. And if you're a parent, you need to, <laughs> you should be monitoring your children while they're on the internet. Um, other adults that were around my children went around my rules for my children and they were exposed to things I did not want them exposed to at very young ages. And, um, this is why I teach people about consent. That's the only time I will call myself a teacher. And that's because I had to learn from the school of hard knocks experience over the last few years about my own free will and my own power of consent. And, I understand that this is how the enemy operates and we need to know how they operate so that we can defend ourselves. Okay. Now I noticed they got very low key with this. I'm going to explain what I mean by that in just a minute, but first I want you to look at something. I apologize. I apparently, there we go. This is called blood over intent. Now you see it was all over the internet a few years ago. It was everywhere. This is witchcraft. I would advise you not to and this is dark magic. This is not, I mean, they, they're going to say their intents were good, but anytime you exchange blood, you're exchanging energy there and you, people don't know what they're doing. Okay. These demons work the same as the angels. That's why when there's the demonic working around you, it works in reverse and the same thing for the angelic beings. It's in reverse because this is an inverted world. Just like they tell us with our eyes, how we see things upside down, but our eye fixes that. Um, I don't know how they would know that to be quite frank, but, um, it's the same concept. Um, uh, everything here is reversed. So when we have angelic beings or the diabolical working around us, just because they're fallen angels does not mean they lose their gifts or abilities that God created them with. In fact, they do not. This is why you have to be very careful. And this is why you pray to God and ask him to send you uh, holy angels and you don't do things like this. These children did this. And I'm going to tell you what the problem with this is now. They um, did these blood over intent rituals, okay? And their main idea was to bring heaven onto earth. What's the biggest problem with that, gang? What, what have we talked about regarding heaven and people's ideas and concepts of this? One is definition. We all define heaven differently. We don't understand that it's a space where God lives. It is not paradise to each and every one of us. The problem with paradise is your utopia or heaven is different than my idea of utopia. Okay. This is what a lot of people don't understand about heaven. It's not a place where um, you go and your ideals are met. It is a place where God reigns and God came down from the seventh heaven. Some people say the third heaven to dwell with Adam and Eve every evening, even being made before the fall. God had to come down to them. A being that is at a certain level can come down, but um, a being that is um, lower than God, of course, needs a hand up. That's why we needed Jesus. That's why I showed you the heaven gate uh, tapes. Not because, and again, we have to take truth where truth comes. And we have to understand that the media villainizes and vilifies and frames things in such a way as to where the good looks very bad here. Okay. We'll get into that in another video. We're going to talk about framing and how that changes perspective of an entire situation and how the media takes advantage of that, um, in your mindset. But the problem with, uh, blood of our intent is first the blood, and then you're requesting that heaven be brought down to earth, not understanding that heaven is a place where God and angels dwell. Okay. It is their estate. It is their dwelling place. It is their home. It is not an ideological, theosophical concept of a place, right? 
And that's why I use the, the different differential word of utopia. Your idea of utopia and my idea of utopia are two different things. Why is this dangerous? Because, and I'm going to say it flat out here, these people are to blame for the second incursion of the fallen angels that we are dealing with right now. They wanted to bring heaven down to earth. They were not careful about what they said and the words they used and words have power. And they indeed brought the beings that live in heaven down here with us uh, through their consent. We should be asking for divine intervention. We should not be exchanging our blood for things like this. Um, we have no idea what we're doing at this time. We're so far from God. We don't know what right and wrong looks like anymore. We don't know the power behind the rituals that people are doing. And now children and teenagers are doing them and have been doing them with no concept of what they're actually, what they're actually signing off on. And if you did this, I would highly recommend that you repent, um, that you pray to God verbally and out loud declare, you know, I, that you are sorry for this and that you rescind and revoke any and all invitations that you made into your life and onto this earth because man, this is man's estate is earth. Eden is on the earth somewhere. This is why we walk on the heads of demons. We are above them in the hierarchy. Even the fallen angels, the ones that turn into demons, we are above them in the hierarchy. Now, it'll tell you right here, blood over intent is a cult. And I found this very enlightening here, and I want to show you. Blood over intent is the term used to refer to a specific satanic ritual and cult. And it is linked to flat earth movements and their beliefs. So they're assigning this to new age. They're lumping flat earthers in here with this. Personally, I've never been in a plane. I don't know the shape of the planet. I don't need to know that myself to believe in God. I know God is real. I don't just believe it. I know it because I know God. Some people need this proof. I'd like to know with all the drones flying around and all the people flying up in planes, why we don't already know this, why it's not already known and why we have artist rendition of the planet, but we don't have an actual photograph of the planet. We need to be asking questions like this. Just like when we went to the moon, nobody could ask how the president spoke with the space shuttle on a regular landline back before cell phones. We had a telephone line that, that went from the earth to the moon, did we? We've got to be asking questions. I blame this cult for what happened in my life. Um, all of the experiences that I went through, um, the Bigfoot, the Fae, they all ghosts, spiritualism, um, UFOs, abduction scenarios, they all have the same elements to them with missing time and hypnotism and doing things that you don't, you know, that are against your will. So this is what they want to do. And this is what they're doing. Okay. Look, that one's new. That one's just nine months ago, not even a year ago. If your children are doing this, you are going to have chaos in your home and in your life. And I would please beg you not to do this. 144,000 Satan sealed elect compilation, blood over intent. I hope that's a warning that she's giving. But this is, this is, um, this is the satanic counterfeit of God's kingdom. And I, I would be willing to bet there's 144,000 of them that um, have been chosen because of this. Now, I've noticed campers. You guys know I like the camping channels. I like the camping shows. And that's my problem is God seems to take me right to the nasty ones. God takes me right to people that need some kind of discernment or judgment because uh, he's working on my discernment. Like, what do you think of this person? Um, you think this is a good thing that you should be watching? I'm going to tell you right now. I noticed it on two very specific channels. Uh-oh, I've cut myself. They're being very careful about it now, but if those two camping channels get big, all of a sudden, this is why. Yes, it might, can, they might grant you certain things here on earth, but what are you going to owe them? You're always going to be in debt to these things when you start working with them. And they are very, um, what is the word I'm looking for? They, they have no bias. They don't care if you call upon them, if you don't call upon them. Um, they don't care if you like them or if you don't like them, they don't like you or dislike, well, most of them hate us, but some of them aren't biased at all. They just operate the way they operate according to their nature. We need to understand this is very dangerous. 
And I do. I blame this cult for the second incar incarnation that, that we're dealing with now and that I've been trying to tell people about since the end of 2018. I love you guys. Stay prayed up. More soon. Bye.